as we look at these latest developments in the last 24 hours, Israel stepping into Gaza and stepping up its bombardment, what do you believe is the end game here? Good morning. Uh, I believe that nobody knows which is the end game at the moment. Israel has not even formally declared a ground operation. Is entering Gaza from two points, northeast and north, uh, but just for uh, two, three kilometers, no more. And the area where he's entering is a flat area that was born before and abandoned a long time ago by Palestinian residents. This is, a, I would say, is a gathering of army. The real fighting, the real struggle will take place inside Gaza, in the debris, in the rubbles of Gaza. And as we know from history, Stalingrad, Leningrad, Mosul more recently, uh, urban warfare and fighting uh, inside a uh, destroyed city is quite, quite difficult. It could become a trap. And so the Israeli cautiousness in the ground advancement is probably related to this awareness. They have no problem in bombing, but sometimes bombing is not so careful, as we can see from the human casualties. And as far as we know, the, there are hundreds of kilometers of tunnels in Gaza that have been built for years with concrete and it's quite, quite difficult to uh, destroy these uh, uh, tunnels from the air. What you have to do is go, to go tunnel by tunnel, and you are going to lose a lot of men if you go tunnel by tunnel. So it's a really, really problematic issue. And uh, as I said at the beginning, it's so problematic that nobody knows the end game. Indeed, Ambassador. And as we see on the ground in Gaza, concerns for civilian casualties and also an ongoing humanitarian crisis there, we've seen extraordinary images, extraordinary images of people coming out in force around the world to call on Israel to hold off on this ground offensive. Do you think that message is being received in the Knesset and by Prime Minister Netanyahu? Well, for what I'm watching, I would say no. I mean, President Biden, as you just mentioned, was compelled to call Prime Minister Netanyahu, and this time issuing a stern messages to him, the sense that uh, this operation is slowly or quickly, depending from the point of view, alienating all the sympathies that Israel had go after the horrible 7 October terrorist attacks. If this situation is going in the way it's going, uh, I am afraid that Israel will lose the moral high ground, or probably is already losing it. And this is a situation that is unprecedented. Neither in 2014 war, we are reached a situation where the Palestinians, out of desperation, were forced to loot the UN sh shelters and depots looking for food. And sometimes I saw images of people taking bags of flour Unfortunately, they have no water. So what they can do with the floor, nobody knows, because without water, you cannot make bread. Just pure and simple. 